I just want Ricky to know that I'm not a defenseless 16 year old girl. I'm a f off mother of a murdered child, and you had no right to take away from me, her father, and our family. Our Gina Marie has been dead for three years, eight months, and 16 days, and she was murdered by your hands. You are evil masqueraded as a human being. Words cannot express the pain and anguish our family and friends have endured since her murder. Your decision to take the life of my daughter with no regard for the effect it may have on others is unimaginable. You did not win. We accepted your pathetic plea because we wanted you to live in hell for the rest of your life. We love the fact that you'll never see the outside world again. You will never be able to hurt another person again, ever. I don't want to hear your lawyer stand up and speak to this jury or the judge about how hard you had it as a child. You look at these people sitting on Jan Marie's side of the courtroom and you'll find people who were in much dire situations than you. Cancer, teenage pregnancy, death of a father, divorce, single parents, foster homes, drug addiction, suicide, you name it, these people have sacrificed. So don't give us your sad, pathetic story because we've seen and done it all, more than you could ever imagine. We don't care. What you did is inexcusable no matter what type of life you've, you've lived. No one else in this room has ever committed murder except for you. This is the only thing that I have left of my daughter, her ashes. You took it upon yourself to make that decision. The loss of the child is beyond words. There will be no more birthday parties, backyard gatherings, holiday celebrations, or any family activities to share. The laughter, hugs, and those opportunities to say I love you are forever gone. Our family's forever broken. Gina Marie will never get to drive, never get to go to homecoming or prom. She was gorgeous in everything that she wore, including the running pants that you killed her in. But you knew that, because I've sent you many pictures and letters, so you'd never forget what she looked like. I'll never get to see her graduate from high school or college, get married or have children. I only had her for 16 very short years, but you made sure of that. It's too bad that your family got to see you for 21 years. You should make them proud. I want you to wake up every day and know that you will never have a life any better than what you do now. I think of my daughter, Gina, every single day. I wonder how many people actually think of you every day. And as years go by, I hope they forget about your pathetic life. You're a piece of shit who killed a defenseless and innocent 16-year-old, 5'3", 100-pound child. That's correct, she was a child. You're a waste of oxygen, and I hope that someone will stop that oxygen while you're in prison. Now I turn my effort to the judge. Compassion is a world commonly used for and by defendants. However, I ask how much compassion the defendant considered when the decision was made to murder my daughter, Gina Marie. <coughs> I'm pleading that you to not let this pathetic person ever receive his freedom ever again. We all have wives, daughters, aunts, granddaughters, grandmothers, nieces, and female friends. Please ask yourself, would you ever want this person out on the streets ever again to be able to harm any of these people that you love and care so much? This person throws urine and feces on guards and other inmates inside the jail. Who's to say what he would have done if he would have had a knife, a gun, or a hammer, or any other type of weapon? Please take all that I've said into consideration. Please do not ever let him out of jail again. It is the request of myself and my family that the maximum penalty for the crime for which the defendant pled be imposed, life with no parole. Do this for my Gina Marie and for all the other children who ever, never got to live their lives because of predators like, Jen, like Ricky Williams. On behalf of the family of Gina Marie, I wish to express my sincerest gratitude for allowing the opportunity of this expression.